Alrighty, let's get right into this. And yes, to anyone watching, this is an SCP game. Very interesting. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm still alive. <laughs> oh! So what happened? Report in. Everyone was killed. The staff, the MTF, and Class D. Oh, oh no. You mean... Yeah, there was a containment breach. Observation target 4-1... I, I, I couldn't even read that. Okay then. Alright. That's... What happened. Yeah. I understand. They activated Contingency Plan 67. It was impossible for us to contain the situation. Project MA-13. We issued the plan in accordance to Protocol 271. Chaos will consume our country because of this. There is no way to stop it any longer. Urgently requesting reinforcements from the headquarters. I repeat, urgently requesting reinforcements from the headquarters. This is the Foundation Japan branch. Yeah. 
Do you remember having memories from when you were young? Memories of an innocent, innocent childhood? Beautiful and richly colored carved into your brain. Probably remember them. Every living person clings to that nostalgia. Every person clings to, uh, to those memories. But I don't have those memories. I have no memories for, of when I had fun. No, it may be wrong to decide that. Maybe it was fun when I was a child. Maybe it wasn't. At the age of seven, I was in an accident. Apparently, I, it was a traffic accident. I have no memory of the accident. When I woke up, I was laying somewhere in a bed. There was a person who called me a doctor. The doctor told me that I had been in, a, in an accident. I was in a car with my parents, and we collided with an oncoming vehicle. He told me that my parents had died. I don't know the faces of my parents. I don't remember anything. I grew up without knowing my parents' faces. Maybe I could remember something if I looked at my family photos. But that's impossible. Maybe it will be forever. Because... Ever since the day of the accident, I am blind. Oh, damn. Jericho. At 15.30 p.m. Japan. Natatara Mura. Kanata Ryuzen. I am so sorry for butchering this movie. Holy shit. Hello. Kanata, what are you thinking? Someone speaks to me. Oh, only a little surprised, I turned my face to the direction in which the voice was heard. Kanata's childhood friend, Sukiya Hikari. Hari-chan? No, I, I wasn't thinking. Really? When you, when you face your face in, in the direction of the sun, it's a habit of thinking something. I know it. If she says so, she laughs happily. Her name is Sukiya Hikari. In my child, in my childhood, my childhood friend, I'm the best. Oh, wait, she's the best. Oh yeah, I didn't work anything about English being bad. That, that's fine, I can correct it. <laughs> and my dearest friend. What? It, it, is that so? I, I don't know. You didn't realize yourself? Ah. You're truly indifferent to yourself. She's... <sighs> She's very kind and cherishes me. I lost my memory 11 years ago, but it seems that Hikari-chan was a friend for a long time. Consciousness returned after the incident when Hikari-chan came to visit me. I still remember it well. Waking up in, in the hospital room, I noticed that my eyes couldn't be seen. There's a dark world. In such a situation, I heard her voice. Thank gosh, thank gosh. Her voice crying to say so. Can't forget. By the way, school time is already over. There's no one in, in the class. Are you going home? No, I'll go home. 
but just a bit today, the sun is felt nearby. Kanata, that remark, you sound like you're you're going bananas. Really? If so, bananas are a special food. If so, bananas can do amazing things. <laughs> are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. Sorry, Chan and I laugh together. From old days, I'm I'm told by surrounding people that oddball. But honestly, I don't know well by myself. However, Hikari-chan is friendly to me. All the other classmates also treat me as equal friends. So I never really cared. Well then... I'm going to leave from now. Would, would you like to go home with me? It'll be dark soon. Well... Let's, let's go to home together. I stand up from my from the chair and lift the bag I hung beside the desk. And when I was looking for a cane, Hikari handed it over. Ah, thanks. Hey, Hikari Chan. Uh what? Tell me. Now what color is Sky doing? It's red. Like a burning. It's dyed red. I'm just waiting for a whole SCP thing just to break out and just go haywire. Oh gosh. Nada da Tara Mura. This is my hometown, a royal village completely isolated from the hustle and bustle of the urban area. Era. Walk, walk outside can, can hear the singing voice of birds and insects, and at the same time a comfortable wind blows. Moreover, in the current season, frogs join there and begin a big chorus. There's no sounds of cars coming and going, as far as I can tell. There's no high-rise apartments. Basically, this village is a countryside. But it's by no means a bad place. Although I've never seen the scenery of Natha Mora, it, it will surely be colored with beautiful mountains and landscapes. Anyway, well, Kantana stay in, in this village after graduation? Abruptly, Hikari Chan is asking me. She walks next to me and keeps track of my walking speed. On the other hand, I walk on a road that isn't paved based on the feeling of a cane and, and a toe. A line my blindness, so walking speed is slow, but will not stumble. We continued to walk the same place for many years as a habit. Not even one person from home to school will be able to go without problems. Basically, it's a matter of getting used to it. So as long as, as I'm in this village, I'm not inconvenient. Yes. I will help my family business next year. My father-in-law seems to want me to stay in this village. With a light feeling, I answered her. Since my parents died, I was named 
Roy was in Kanata, and I was deposited as an adopted child to the, to the Ryuzen family. And for 11 years, I was brought up as a daughter of the Ryuzen family. Time passed. Now I'm 18 years old. Now, old. High school, the third grade. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I believe that's supposed to be high school. Um... 11th grader because they said I need one more year so yeah 11th grader it, it, uh, I mean unless high schools are called third graders I can already see an, it, one English translation error that's fine during this year I'm in a position where I have to choose between going on to college or getting a job although in my case the choice is equal to nothing are you not gonna leave from this village? Yeah. I, th I think that I can't leave this village forever. I laugh at myself like irony. Yeah. I can't get out of this village. It's unlikely that you can live in a satisfying life. Even if you leave this village. It took quite a, a while until I got to be able to send a minimum daily life without human assistance. I trust myself to go to school, make a note of the teacher's words in class. These were never easy. What an ordinary person can do without problems. It's difficult for me. But I like this village, so there's no dissatisfaction. With a smile, I added such words. I like the Nanataramara. There's not many things here. However, there's time. Time to flow slowly. It's an irreplaceable time that I have spent. Until people clear air- Whoa, hey, 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 whoa, whoa. Everything wrapped me and brought up, up me who came difficult even for minimal things as a person. Besides, my parents-in-law who adopted me are very conscientious people. They raised me like a real child and promised that they would take over. That they would take over family business even if my eyes couldn't not be seen in the future. It's a bad thing to waste their good faith. I think so. Kari Chan doesn't return words. I have been friends with her for 10 years. Even without asking the words, I can understand what she's doing now. Kanata, sh you should get out of here. Kanata should do more various experiences and should enjoy more life. You stay in such a cramped village for a lifetime. It's the worst life. Yukari says so. She holds my hands powerfully. At the same time, the staff grasped on my right hand and fell to the ground. Kanata, let's get out of let's get out of here with me. As I'll make you happy. So always stay with me. Hikari san. Don't don't worry. The outside world isn't scary. Or rather, I feel that the village is more creepy. Okay, now I can definitely agree, because... Yeah, that looks like blood-soaked clouds. Or rather, I feel that this village is more... I thought from... Okay, you just skip over it. Okay, that's fine. I, th I thought from long ago, 
as I thought this place is strange. The decision of the village, both smartphone and internet, are banned. Oh. Okay. Besides, when you leave the village, you, ha you have to book it on the rooster each time. That's a ridiculous act in this day and age. Now, Taramora is a bit sh strange custom from a long time ago. As she said, possession of mobile phones, smartphones, smartphones, other personal computers that can be connected to the internet, etc. These prohibited in principle. In addition, when going out of the village, you must offer it to the village office each time. At that time, you will be asked in detail the reasons for going out and the expected date of returning home. Failure to do so, the ch village checkpoints never let us through. However, all villagers voluntarily keep their rules. It's the atmosphere peculiar to a small village. If we enter the neighboring mountain directly from the village, we can leave the village by ignoring the checkpoint. Ooh. However, the mountains around the village will easily be distressed even by local people if they get out of the familiar world. However, moreover, we often encounter a, a wild bear, so there's, there is no one who, who does such troublesome and dangerous things. As this custom is to protect the villagers' safety, although the villagers are a blight, to a child like ours is an innocent honest and stiff rule that's because the village headman is worried about everyone all the decisions said that make it easier for villagers to confirm the safety of villagers when the lessons learned from the great earthquake that occurred in the past he said so that's wrong! That's as if he seems to have us confined in this village. As if we seem to be monitored and contained. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So I'm an SCP. Got it. <laughs> I can't say it well. It's so gross. Adults here are... I feel like I'm hiding something. I'm scared of, of this village. I... I hate this village. She seemed to be afraid. She had hearing... her body close to me in no time. And lace each other's fingers stronger. Oh, 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 um, um, oh, oh, oh. Kanata, let's get out of this village together. Let's rent a room in a distant town and live together. Doesn't matter if Kanata is blind, I will become Kanata's eyes. I will make Kan Kanata free. So, will you stay by my side forever? She whispers passionately. I feel her sweet breath. The heartbeat of her chest is transmitted to me. She's outburst of emotion and it seemed that she couldn't stop herself anymore. I'm... Oh! Oh! I get to, I, I make choices. I make choices! I mean, yes. Let's go by her side. Me, me too. I want to be by your side. Truthfully, I'd like to go out, out, go with you to the outside world. Even if I can't see my eyes. See out of my eyes. I feel like I can live with you. Don't worry, Kanata. I will protect you. I will become the eyes of you. I will feed you to the last minute. So don't worry about anything. I want you to stay by my side. I'm... Nothing else matters. She hugs me and 
makes a cheek kiss and it kisses my cheek. Hikari Chan is tender. She has been with me for a long time. If I was in trouble, she helped me at once. From her earlier time than anyone else, it has become by, on my side. I like Harkari Chan. She is my pre precious friend. I want to depend on her kindness forever. So, as before. That is not no good. I can't depend on her forever. Her kindness is... Looks like a lake with no bottom. Once I sink to the bottom, I feel like I can't go back. That's no good, Ikari chan. I also want to make an effort for you. Kanata. Also. Also, I need to tell firmly to those who took care of me. I have to say I will leave this village. So wait a little more. I answer, I, I take my hand off from her, and I touched her cheeks with both hands. Someday, I want to see this face someday, even just once, no matter how long it may take. I would like to see Hikari Chan's face with this, with these eyes. Oh. There's something in there. Oh, I accidentally clicked out. <laughs> I thought something was about to happen. What kind of facial expression do you always have? What kind of eye color do you have? What kind of hair do you have? What kind of figure are you? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to know. I will say so and touch her face a little by a little. Cheeks, lips, noses, ears, eyelids, hair. I can understand what kind of face and hairstyle is about just by touch. But even so, I feel like I don't know that I know her. It's okay. If that's, that is Katana's wish, I will definitely grant it. Someday I will definitely, I will cure that your eyes. She also gently holds my hand, firmly, as if to convey feeling to me. Oh! But she soon leaves me. At any rate, Anna isn't fair. After all, I'm kept waiting. Yeah, sorry. Well, well. Think about it proper properly. And here you go. When she says so, she will hold me, a th give me a thin object on my right hand. It's my cane. By the way, I, I dropped it a while ago. Ah. Thanks, Hikari chan. Wait. Hikari said thanks, Hikari chan. I think that's supposed to be someone else. Ew. Sure. Kanata, I will wait for you, for your answer a little more. So instead, can you do me one favor? Yes? What? When I answer, I hear some sound. Perhaps it seems that Hikari-chan is looking for something from the bag. <laughs> what do you think this is? That said, Hikari-chan made me grasp a small and flat objects of my hand grips. This, this is, I rely on feeling transmitted from inside my hands and explore the identity of that object. The shape is rectangular, it's big enough to hold with one hand. A bit heavy, the surface is iron or made of rigid plastic. Material is different on, on the left and right sides. The one side is an object like glass. Eek. So that 
to a sound which suddenly sounded from the object without thinking. I will raise I raise my voice. <laughs> <laughs> you got pumped. He 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 Kari chan? What's this? This is a smartphone. Surprise. I bought it with a secret to everyone. She says so and regains it from my hand. What? What? That village is cruel. We are prohibited from possessing mobile phones. No problem if you keep quiet. It will not be bald. It was hard work. Making an account. I desperately persuaded my parents. But... Is it really okay? If anyone around me... I listen carefully and make sure there are no people in the surroundings. It would be very troublesome if someone knew that she had a mobile phone. School teachers will get angry at this time before graduation. Will have influence on school report. There's no one. Only us. Kanata, let's take photos together. Photos? Oh. Yes, Dan. Yes. I will leave a photo. Uh, I, will, I will leave photos of, uh, of our memories that we took in high school. Shoot with this smartphone, print photo. Oh, then I upload it to SNS and be proud of it. My friend is so very cute. Hari Chan said and, la and laughed. She wrapped an arm around my so shoulders. Come on, laugh and laugh. This is the first picture of me and Kanata. What? Oh, this is this okay? I smile reflexively. Am I finally going to see what I look like? I heard the shutter sound of the camera in the immediate vicinity. Let's see. Good. It's beautiful. Yeah. That's nice. I only return such an answer by listening to her words. There's no mean meaning of irony. But. I thought it was a shame that I couldn't see it. Alright, uploading this photo to SNS. It seems that Hikari Chan is trying to manipulate the smartphone and post photos on the net. Quietly see that. Oh, 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 okay, hi. To stop her. Huh? Hikari chan have you said anything now? N no nothing. Anyway. Okay, upload complete. Hikari chan is saying with a happy voice. This the voice I heard right now is mishearing. There are no signs of people other than Hikari chan in the vicinity. Although I was wondering, but I could hear only her humming and the sound of the wind. I always started SNS, but I already have a follower. Every time I upload something, some people would come in to see my account. So I'm happy. Kari is talking to me without concern for my anxiety. Oh, damn. It's just my imagination. I thought so. I decided to concentrate on conversation with her. Is that so? After all, Hikari chan is amazing. To the words of Hikari chan who speaks happily, I am happy too. I remember this picture. Someday, when I and you became adults, again, remember now. We looked at the pictures. We are enjoying those days, I'm sure. Now I have no doubt Kanata's eyes will 
be able to see again. So it's a pleasure if if you remember the day of today as a memory. Become an adult even if we experience a lot of society's bad things. From that time on, we are friends. I want to laugh with each other. That's, I think it's a wonderful thing. Yes, that's right. Even if we become an adult someday, I wish I could have such a conversation here again. When I, when I said that, Kari chan laughed. Oh, is this time already? I have to send Kanata away from home sooner. Kanata's father and law will get angry. Huh? That's right. Let's go home before it gets dark. I grabbed the staff and started walking again with Akari chan. Anyway, the voice I heard earlier. After all, it, it, was, it was just mishearing. But I couldn't forget that voice by all means. However, because I couldn't confirm it, I tried hard to forget it. With Akari chan. Always with your important friends. Laugh together. I wish these days would last forever. I don't want to be an adult. I want to be a child forever. I think so. It, is it childish? Uh, uh, oh, well, I think I recognize you. A, a watch decorated in my room tells me that it's 20 o'clock. Although the clock itself can't be seen, if I remember the number of times in ring home, I can know most of the time. I changed clothes from uniforms. I sat on the desk chair and was preparing for school tomorrow. Already this time, Dad and Mom were late. I speak out like a so like Lena guy. My parents and 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 raw. <laughs> my parents and laws said they had to hurry in the village office as soon as they got home. They went out, but it it has already been three hours ago. And I wasn't told that return will will be delayed, and I haven't heard anything today that there's village meetings. Here's the countryside. We're supposed to finish mostly quickly, such as getting to the vill village office. Nevertheless, they will not return. There wasn't this until now. What happened? I'm worried. However, often it's parents who come back to, s to say that they were tied to a small task at such times. In this way, it's meaningless that I'm turning on the electricity in the room. Looking from the outside to let my parents know that I'm in, in the room. Let's say a, a complaint that you are worried when they came home. <sighs> For fuck's sake, Spotty, stop making me yawn. I think so. I will wait for a while. That moment. Oh! Karata! Where's Karata? Suddenly the sound of entrance opening and the voice of a person echoes in the house. This voice is my mother-in-law. Mom? I'm here. I was called by my mother-in-law and stood up from the chair, head to the door along the wall. Anyway, it was like a shouting loud voice, but it wasn't like being angry. Kari Chan's smartphone was found. I get breached. It seems to be different. While thinking about such a thing, I opened the door 
of the room and go out to the corridor. Ooh. Oh. Kanata! Oh, gosh. You're okay? Mother-in-law finds me, grabs my shoulders, and, and I'd be relieved. What? What? What's happening? Kanata! Hurry! Hurry and escape from this village. ASAP. Huh? Hey, wait, Mom? From the f this village? Why? Get away from this village! Oh wait. Oh wait, get away from, from this village. Why? Why do I need to escape? Slowly, what does she say? I could, can't understand what the mother-in-law is saying. And it's confused. Sorry, I have no time to explain. Listen carefully. Definitely you must not be found by... Fang. If you disappear from this world, the sleeping apocalypse wakes up. If you abandon the reality of the forgotten space odyssey, comes falls comes, falls down. Already, Project Mer Mercury Atlas 13 has started. Everything will start moving again. All over the world will be your enemy. Walls of Jericho was was broken. Foundation is no longer reliable. We we can't protect you anymore. In a scared voice, she s s sounds says like an apology. Thing? Foundation? Sleeping Apocalypse? And Forgotten Space Odyssey? I'm unfamiliar. No. And her words unprehensible. I couldn't think to of words to hear quickly. Ka Kanata. Look for him. He will surely help you. Brought you to, to this world. Dr. Saiga, if... Dr. Saiga? It was a person's name I've never heard of. But why? Long ago, somewhere, to that name, I feel very nostalgic. Wait, I don't know the meaning. In the first place, what do you mean, in this world? Forgive me, no more time. Thing is chasing you. Come on, get away quickly. Oh, shh. It was that moment she grasped my arm and tried to run. I heard a sound that I've never heard from before my eyes. A liquid splashed towards me. <laughs> That's definitely going on the video. At the next moment, like ripping something, I hear an incredibly fleshy sound. And vigorously, a warm object came get on my body. Immediately afterwards, something struck the wall at a distance and falls to the floor. At the same time, I heard the sound that something falls down where my mother-in-law was. The object that fell on me slipped down from face to body and slid down to the floor. Huh? What's that? The ob objects that were supposed to have fallen on the floor still still hanging on my shoulder. Maybe it's a long and soft thing. I grabbed the object and tried to verify its identity. That's so very long and soft, and it's warm like body temperature. Furthermore, it smells like iron, in addition to the nauseous stench. Next, swipe the liquid that's painted on, on my face with the other hand. It's not water, but it's too watery for oil, and covering my bo whole body, blood smell. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. I can't keep standing with fear, sit down on 
on the spot. My knees tremble and I can't move it properly. My brain has stopped working. What's happened? What's happened to mom? 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 Kanata. I heard a familiar voice. A girl's voice. The voice of a close friend. Hi. Hikari chan? Kanata. Ah, I've missed you. She comes walking towards me. I'm blind. That's why I can't see her figure. But the voice is definitely hers. Uh oh. Oh, oh, I think I know what the thing is. Is it SCP-939 with many voices? Is that what it is? Ooh. Okay, this is getting interesting. But instincts tell me it's dangerous. Run away. Now the thing in front of me is, it isn't hikari John. Come on, Kanata. Let's become one with us. Okay, maybe not, because I don't think they would say that. <laughs> oh, am, am I dead? Um, let's just save here. Okay, save there. SCP. Secure, contain, protect. With words taken from these initials, it's, it's a philosophy of the organization called Foundation. SCP. Real supernatural phenomena, super life forms, sorcery, magic. In addition to all other objects that can't be explained, Foundation call it so. It's an organism, an organic matter, or a phenomenon. There's no uniformity or commonality. Foundation secures, contains, and protects SCP, which can't be handled with the power of common sense. Normal people in, from abnormal object are obliged to defend. Also, in order to eludicate things which can't be eludicated, they continue to encourage studies day and night. They will analyze all objects of the world. Someday, it may be showing us a new future for mankind. So, if that SCP doesn't end the world faster than that, Oh. <laughs> Chapter 1 Dark Sector. Oh. And for a fracture, it will be Mobile Task Force Bando. Alright, we're gonna s right there, and we're just gonna. I, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. It, it got very interesting. I can, and I will continue this. Uh, and I hope you will uh, join me again next time for the next, the next stream. Hope to see you then, D-Class.